today on That's So Neat, I make this gorgeous, super easy wall decor. And if you're interested in seeing how, then just keep watching. Welcome back guys. If you are returning, hi. If you are new, welcome to the channel. I would ask that if you don't mind, please consider subscribing. It is highly time we leave this channel. Okay, so getting into this video here today, what I am taking is these five inch mirror candle holders that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I have four of them and I'm just laying them out to get um, the right of my foam board I need. And I did not have enough lengthwise, so I had to add extra pieces to get the length that I needed. I'm just gluing these extra pieces on, and then I'll take my glue, lay it out, and stack my foam board on top of each other. And I took about three layers to get the desired thickness that I wanted. After I glue my three layers of foam board together, I'm just going to lay out my mm, candle holders to make sure that they fit properly. And then I'll go in again with hot glue and attach these to the board. If you plan to recreate this, uh, do know that you can very well use a stronger glue, maybe a knee 6000, but I'm just going to stick with hot glue. I mean, I think it works just fine for me and maybe I might want to reuse this or repurpose the, the candle holders later. So I'm just going to stick with hot glue. And after I have all four of my mirrors glued down, the next step is probably a step I should have done before I attach the mirrors, but I'm just going to go in with some black acrylic paint and paint around the edges. And I think that, you know, the black looks a little bit more cleaner than just leaving it white. I mean, you'll see what I mean later on in the video. This black paint that I'm using is just some acrylic black paint some I already had. I purchased it from Dollar General. I mean, any black paint will do. Any color will do. It's up to you if you decide to recreate this. Any color will do. I just chose black because I thought it would look a bit more cleaner. And I could have maybe painted the bottom, but it's not really necessary. But if you choose to recreate this, it is up to you. After allowing my piece to dry, I go ahead and flip it over and going in with some of this red wire that I purchased from Dollar Tree some time back. I got it out of the automotive section. It come in a pack with three wires all together and it was a red, a black, and a silver. I attach it with some hot glue and using a piece of cardboard, I attach it down on each side. 
for a little added security I went ahead and attached two more cardboard pieces just to be sure and I flip it back over and going in with this bling wrap or diamond wrap I believe it is I don't know I purchased this from Dollar Tree a while ago it was the sheets and they had the uh, what's it called the adhesive bags I removed the adhesive and cut them down into strips and attach using hot glue Another alternative to the diamond wrap could be gems or ribbon or even glitter I think will look nice. And off camera I went ahead and finished gluing the diamond wrap around the mirror and I'm going in with my sprayway glass cleaner I'm just gonna take my microfiber cloth and get these mirrors as clean as possible At this point, I'm trying to decide whether I want to use the Mod Podge or the hot glue to make my letters. Um, I chose to go with the hot glue because I thought it would be a lot quicker than using the Mod Podge. I'm going to be making my letters using these diamond glass fillers, I believe they are. I got these from Michaels. Now here is where the trial and error come in honey. This H took me through the fire. Let's just say I made this H three times before I got it right. Now the technique I'm using right here is applying the hot glue and then pouring the fillers over the glue. But honey that was not the business. That was not going to work. But I had no clue because clearly I thought it was a good idea. I just kept right on going and honey it was a mess and here I am looking at it like what in the world honey this is not giving what it's supposed to give but no mm -mm. I'm still trying to go in and fix it like mm -mm. let me just add a little bit more honey this is just not working but I ain't giving up I'm still trying to figure it out still laying my glue and pouring on my gems my baby please this, this ain't it. this just ain't it honey it, it, it ain't it just stop pressing it down like it's gonna work no ma'am just give it up stop
at this point i'm starting to realize honey this ain't the vision that you had in mind like this is not looking like the h i mean but i'm still trying to give it a little a little fighting chance still adding gems and it's just not working so i'm just gonna go off camera and try this so i did off camera come up with a better technique to do the o and it worked a lot better so i'm just gonna come on over here to this little disaster and move remove all of this and start over because it was a mess now to make my life a little bit easier i'm just gonna go in and take one of these glue sticks honey and just freehandly sketch out me an h because it, the h was kicking my butt and so it was the same technique i used for the o i just let's move it on over to the h and i'm the technique i'm using is to lay the glue and lay a gem lay the glue and lay a gem and the way i lay the gems was i I let the gems lay as though they were, you know, free falling, if that makes sense. Like, I lay them in a way that, I don't know, I just lay them in a way that they look like they just fell there. This method is a bit more time consuming, but it is a lot better than the initial way that I went about doing it the first time. I have a lot more control of my letters and it's coming out a lot neater this way. Once I got the desired thickness of my letters off camera, I went ahead and finished my H as well as the M and the E. And now with a dry paintbrush, I go in and try to clean up some of these glue strings. I did not realize I had so many glue strings. Like there was so many glue strings, it literally looked like a spider's web. And this method was not working at all. Like I was here for hours and hours removing glue strings like it was tedious I kid you not I was here for the longest time trying to remove these glue strings like I just don't understand like I don't know whatever techniques y'all have to remove these glue strings like please comment down below because th this was unnecessarily too long Now, after what felt like forever of trying to clean off majority of these glue strings, and I said majority because they are still there, honey. I just could not get them all. It was too tedious. But I go in with my spray weight and my microfiber cloth, and I clean off the smudges that were made from the excess glue strings. And I just, honey, I clean it as best as I could.
trying to decide between these two options here I have these clear adhesive hooks that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and these clear crystal knobs that I purchased from Amazon um, I like the idea of the hooks but I like the look of the knobs better so I'm just gonna go with the knobs and I'm just gonna lay out my four knobs one under each letter and just using hot glue and you could use um, some E6000 for a stronger hold but I'm just gonna use hot glue and I just glue each knob under each letter And like I said, you can use a stronger glue if you would like, especially if you're going to be hanging heavier items from this. Me, I probably won't hang anything from it. If I would, it would probably only be maybe a mask, maybe a set of keys. So hot glue will work just fine for me. But again, it's up to you. And finally, this is what it looks like all done. It was tedious, but it was so worth it. I love the way it sparkles and shines, guys. I put this on my wall. You can hang keys, hats, purse, whatever you desire. I think it looks good just as is as a wall piece. Or if you chose, you could remove the knobs and set it on a table for a decorative piece. I think it looks good either way. But I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments below.